Hey everybody, welcome back to LI Geek Guy's weekly video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Windows operating systems. More specifically, how to tell which version of Windows you're running and why, if you're not running Windows 10, you should upgrade to Windows 10. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference between Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Also while telling you why if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, you should upgrade to Windows 10. Um, so here we have a Windows 7 machine. On the bottom left hand corner, if you follow my mouse, we're gonna see the start button. Now in Windows 7, the start button is a circle with the Windows icon in it. Um, if we right click it, it only gives you two options, properties and open Windows Explorer. More on that later, but we're gonna left click it we're going to right click computer and we're going to go to properties. Um, so you can see right on the top here, it says windows seven. So that's, that's a surefire way to tell, um, which, which, uh, operating system you're running. So you would definitely want to upgrade a windows seven to a windows 10. Um, just because Microsoft ended support for windows seven back in January. Um, basically what this means for you is that they're not releasing any security fixes, any updates or any patches in the future. Um, this leaves your computer at risk. Um, basically what happens is people find loopholes in operating systems and then Microsoft finds out about it and they release patches to fix them. Um, without these, these patches and updates um, being released, your computer is definitely at risk. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a Windows 8 machine. So this is Windows 8. Um, you'll notice it's, it's a little bit more difficult to tell the difference between Windows 8 and Windows 10 but let me show you how to do it. So if we left click the Windows uh, logo, uh, the, the start button down here, you get a whole screen start menu. Um, this, this is one of the easiest ways to tell you're running Windows 8. But let's go back to the desktop. Um, we're gonna right click the start button and you'll see a whole bunch more options than we did in Windows 7. Um, we're gonna go up to system and it's gonna tell you right up here, uh, Windows 8. So this is, this is definitely running Windows 8. Um, and the reason why you might want to update to Windows 10 um, is Windows 8 is probably the least user-friendly out of all the Windows. Um, it is still being supported by Microsoft, so you don't have to worry about it being less secure. Um, but personally, I think Windows 10 is much easier to use, and I also think it's, it's a lot faster. Um, so let's minimize this. And here we have my Windows 10 desktop. So. Windows 10 um, has the same kind of start button as Windows 8, but when we left click it, it brings up a smaller start menu. Um, you got your programs on the left here with, with your, uh, your most used items on the right here. Um, let's right click the start button and we're gonna go to system. If we scroll down um, under Windows specifications, you can see it's running Windows 10 Pro version 20, 2004, which is the newest version. If you're running, th running anything um, before 2004, that's okay. Um, let me show you how to update it. Um, if we left click the uh, start button and click the settings gear, we could scroll all the way down to update and security and then just click check for updates. It's gonna automatically check and install uh, any updates it finds. And if you get a green check mark, um, which you kind of saw in the beginning there, that means that you're all up to date. Um, there you go. And it'll tell you you're up to date. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that this video was informational for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, shoot me an email at zach at ligeekguy.com. But anyway, uh, this is your friendly neighborhood nerd signing off. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon.